Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today we're going to take a look at the array flat method inside JavaScript. So flat is a fairly new method, um, only coming out recently um, with support for Chrome 69 and Firefox 62. There's no support on Edge or Internet Explorer or Safari. So definitely don't use this in your production websites, but it's still good to know. So the flat method is basically going to take an array of arrays and then flatten them into a single array. So for example, let's go inside the JavaScript for this document right here. Um, and let's create a new array, so a new constant. We can call this one numbers, equal to an array of numbers. We can say one, two, and three. And as the fourth element, let's pass in a new array. We can say four and five. So now we have an array, one, two, three, and then as a fourth element, a new array. So a sub array inside a array. Okay, so let's call the flat method on this numbers array. Make a new constant, we can call this one numbers flat equal to numbers dot flat. Okay, I'm gonna call that method right there. I can now console.log numbers flat and we can see the result. So I can save this and refresh my browser. In the console, we get one, two, three, four, and five in a single array. So it's taken the sub array and flattened it into a single array. Okay? So multi dimensional array into a single dimensional array. Okay, so what if I was to pass in an array into this array. So inside the sub array, let's pass in a new array and put six, seven, and eight. So now we have this third dimensional array inside here, an array, an array, and an array. So now calling the flatten method, we can see the result. Refresh this and we get one, two, three, four, five, like previously, and now we get an array. So it hasn't actually flattened the third array, okay? To do that, the flat method will actually take in um, an argument. So this is going to be the actual depth that the flatten, sorry, that the flat method will actually um, perform. So calling flat by itself like this is the same as doing flat and passing one as the argument. I can save this and refresh, and we get the same result. Okay, if I pass in two, it's going to do two levels deep. So we've got level one as the first array and level two as the second array. So now if I was to save this one and refresh, we get the desired result. All right, and that is the array flat method inside JavaScript. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.